I call the vet. So maybe this story will help you in the future if you have any baby goats that you need to dehorn with or this bud with a vet. But what happened is, as soon as they were born, I called the vet and there's this vet that I have to go to because the one that I talk to on the phone and the one that I have the contact with and a good relationship with, she's only there to treat goats at her office once a month. It's Mr. Couch. He's always crying. So anyways, I I had a really bad experience. I called them and they said, well, you have to wait until they're a month old. And I said, I don't think so. Listen, um, last time I took my girls, well, you said the sooner the better. And now you're telling me to wait a month? And she's like, well, the doctor that is here said that a month. I'm like, I don't think so. And they're gonna be show goats for FFA or, you know, they're gonna be for 4 H. And I really, they, will, they won't be able to show them unless they are disbudded. Last time I took them, I think it was $140 for three goats. Now I took four and in the end I ended up paying $269 and they said that it's because of the medicine being more expensive and because they had to dehorn Mr. White because of course he had bigger horn buds growing and why is that? Because we waited two weeks. Now I understand that this will vary from town to town and from vet to vet but in case that somebody's trying to tell you that you have to wait a month to disbud your kids, that is not true. Actually, two weeks, in my opinion, is a little bit too late. And despite them saying that they're not going to develop any scurs, um, you know, I just wouldn't want to pay almost $300 for something that in the end they were not even sure it was working as they planned. Now the babies are extremely itchy and they said that once they're itchy that means that it worked perfectly which I looked up and I couldn't find anywhere really that that's the case but um, yeah I'm not too happy with what happened and so well to make things worse when I go pick them up our little girl Athene wasn't well, waking up she was in a deep sleep and if you know anything about anesthesia and goats is that they don't really go together so anyways um, I had to wait for an extra 35 minutes for her to wake up at that point I was worried I was thinking I don't know I, I, I don't know if this was a great idea and Despite me not wanting to disbud them because being new in the goat world, um, I just think that it would be a better idea because in the end you trust the professionals, you pay the money, and sometimes they're not even sure what they're doing. And not because they didn't go to school for it, but sometimes they don't treat enough goats to know um, what really they have to do. Now I know that that vet this buds or dehorn I don't know what the term is for calves so maybe she was going uh, you know with information with calves and not really goats but if you know anything about show goats or if you know anything about 4-H or FFA is that you really want to make sure that they're not going to develop scars that is something that will ruin it for that person and it's going to be sold to another person who's not in those programs and I'm not saying it's a bad thing but it's not what somebody expects and it's something that it kind of um, I don't know it's like a bad experience with a breeder if they develop scars in my humble opinion I've seen it happen like somebody buys a baby goat from a reputable breeder and then they develop scars and they can't use them so they sell them for really cheap for maybe to maybe a neighbor or somebody and in the end um, I don't know maybe they don't purchase from that breeder anymore or they they try to find a solution for it because not everyone wants goats with horns now to make things worse 
when Athene finally wakes up from her anesthesia, which I I was so relieved that she did. She tells me that they have lice. So I ended up buying Hivermectin, which is what she prescribed. She didn't prescribe, but she told me to buy at the feed store. And I ended up buying that. I ended up buying CDNT, and which is the other vaccine that she gave them before disbudding them to protect them with the tetanus thing. I always say it wrong, but you know why they give CDNT, which I think is a great idea, especially for babies because it helps them with the overeating disease. There's like an overeating disease that I know, I know a few people in my area had babies with that problem. So especially if you're gonna have them in pasture, especially if you're going to have them in an area where they can forage, that can be a big problem. So I did that um, not very successfully or very easily. I guess I was successful, but it was <laughs> easy. So I didn't record the process. Um, I just showed you, you know, everything that I had ready and I did it. Now, coming back to what they found is that the babies had lice. And I, <laughs> in the beginning, was a little bit embarrassed because I'm like, oh, they have lice. I mean, is that even possible? But I realized when they were in the truck that they started twitching and I thought, is it because they're scared of Hope, which is our dog? Or is it because there's something else going on? And when I asked the vet soon enough, she said, lice will do that to them because they're itchy. So they kind of twitch and try to scratch in weird ways. And But it looks, look, it looks really bad. It looks like they're having some kind of, um, I don't know, some kind of episode. But anyway, I got the Iver ivermectin and I treated all the babies. The dose is like not even, a scientific dose it's just barely enough like barely you get some product in the needle and um, you give them that uh, mr. cow was so dramatic he went straight to the floor and started going like he was dying and it was just because you know it's kind of pain painful ivermectin my experience but. with the vet was not amazing um, I didn't I didn't like the process this time I hope I like the results I don't see anything growing I don't see anything concerning but I know that they charged me more because they have to they had to dehorn one of them because the, the the horns were already growing and I knew that and she knew that yet I still had to pay for that extra because she did have to spend extra time with him dehorning him so not happy with that but I thought I'd share my experience with you guys because last time when I had a great experience at the vent I shared it with you guys and this time not so much but I learned that they have lies and anyways it's it's not something I did in my research and it's not something that you should be embarrassed about there's a lot of that coming in the straw and to be honest I think it was the straw that I put in the kidding pan when Clara had her babies because I did notice something walking like kind of moving around uh, Mr. Black's head that same night and I didn't know that that was lies so anyways straw will bring that kind of thing so having a good pro protocol to prevent it it would be adding diatomaceous earth to the bedding, which I started to do now. And I also started putting diatomaceous earth in the back of the goats, which is what I'm going to do with the older girls because they are pregnant. And some people say ivermectin is just fine when they're pregnant. I just don't want to try it and I know diatomaceous earth works um, I've seen it with other goats work so I'm gonna put it in their neck and I'll show you in another video in the neck and kind of down the spine and they are going to get rid of that lies hi my sweet twins I don't know if, you'll, if they start but you can see 
that when they're staying still, then all of a sudden they start twitching, and it's because of, according to the vet, it's because of the lies. I couldn't see any on them. Um, for whatever reason, I can see them on Mr. Black and Mr. Cow, but they said that it's usually easier to see on lighter goats. For whatever reason, that's not the case for me, but... Anyways, if you're new around here, please remember to subscribe before you go, ring the notifications, and like this video so YouTube will spread it around with more people that are looking for this kind of content. Thanks again for coming, stopping by.